Hello again, this is Chris at the Stogie Palace. Doing something I don't think I've done before. It's a follow-up to a cigar. In this case, uh, what I just smoked last night, a Camacho Corojo Robusto. And uh, the reason why I want to do a follow-up is um, a couple, couple things. It's a good chance to talk about nicotine uh, because I would say to date, that's the strongest cigar I've ever smoked. And I've smoked some that people considered very strong that didn't affect me at all. And this one here, after I stopped recording, uh, is when it really started kicking in. That final third was pretty strong, and I have tricks of taking care of that, and I'll, I'll mention that. But strength in a cigar uh, is a pretty important matter to me. I, I, I do have a low tolerance for nicotine, although it seems to be gradually improving. And it doesn't stop me from seeking out the stronger cigars, because along with nicotine comes flavor. Uh, the nice thing about this cigar was even though it was strong, it didn't seem like it while I was smoking it, as you may have noticed in the video. It was smooth, it was, it was nice all around, and my opinion hasn't changed at all about it. Uh, sometimes with certain cigars, the next day you're still tasting it, you know, it's definitely, yeah. not this one. So it's nice, clean, good construction, I stick with that. Uh, I mentioned I want to get more, and I do. I was thinking maybe something smaller like the Corona, like I have with the, the, the Maduro version of this cigar. The only problem is that if you saw that uh, earlier video with the Maduro version in Corona, the pack was pretty tight. I don't know if that'll be the same with the regular Corojo. It makes me hesitate because the burn, everything about the Robusto version that I smoked, uh, this, this Corojo was perfect. And a lot of times, you know, you'll get a blend. Let's say this one here, and there's all different sizes, and sometimes they just don't perform as well from one size to the other. And I've read plenty of times where blends were made with particular size in mind. Whatever the blend was, construction, everything on the Robusto was was a lot better than the Corona of the Maduro version that I smoked. Um, the other thing I would consider if I were to buy a box of these, which I'm thinking about, is I would probably let them sit for a long time, just age them. More than likely, the strength, the nicotine, will fade away, but not with taking the flavor with it. I've read that plenty of times where with age, the nicotine will fade. Some of you don't care about that. I know some of you don't have a problem with it at all. I just always have. It uh, Nicotine sickness, or whatever you want to call it, is not real pleasant. It, it's kind of like the nausea, the cold, clammy feeling you get when you have motion sickness. I don't, I don't throw up or anything close to that. Like, for instance, this cigar here, about a half hour, an hour after I was done is when it was really hitting its apex of the nicotine going through my system. And usually all it takes for me is a cold drink, which I usually drink root beer, or maybe a little chocolate or a candy, and that's about it. That wasn't quite cutting it with this one. Uh, I wasn't feeling sick, don't get me wrong. Do not read this into as any negative on the cigar. Um, just had a popsicle, you know, and that was it. That was the end of that, it was gone. And it doesn't usually last very long if it ever comes on, but definitely a strong cigar. So a little talk about nicotine. And you know, the tobacco, the, the plant genus name is uh, Nicotiana tobacum. So, I mean, nicotine is tobacco, tobacco is nicotine, they're interchangeable. Um, it's strange how some cigars are, they say full strength, and I think, depending on the website, I think they really mean full body, which the flavor, the, the amount of smoke, the just, the body is kind of one of those hard things to describe, but I wish they would make it clear what they mean. Strength should mean nicotine strength. Problem is, is that, you know, the more, like I said, the more you age it, the nicotine starts dropping off. Nicotine adds flavor. The ones that I've, the cigars that I've had that had the most flavor and the most complexity and the richness, they also had the most nicotine. Kind of goes hand in hand. I mean, we all know nicotine uh, as far as cigarettes and that it's a stimulant and, and you know, I've just read something that there really hasn't been a direct link between nicotine and cancer I uh, am not going to fool myself or any of you that yes, obviously a lot of people get cancer from, from smoking. Not, I don't know about cigars though. 
You know, we don't inhale. Not supposed to anyway, although some people do, but unfiltered straight tobacco smoke uh, probably can't be a great thing for your lungs, but you know, from what I've seen, you know, sort of have to be predisposed to those kind of things, and I very well may be. I mean, I get, uh, over my life, I've had quite a few cysts removed and had a boil that was huge when I was a little kid. Remember that thing still, I was only in third grade, I'll never forget, it was massive. And um, it sort of is in my family, nothing major, nobody I know has actually died from cancer. But, uh, you know, it's something I'm, I think about. I've never smoked cigarettes, and I, I'm not addicted to, and this is an addictant stimulant, nicotine, but I'm not addicted to it, and I bet you most cigar smokers aren't either. Some are, um, but they were probably also addicted to cigarettes when they smoked them, and most cigar smokers I know that are serious cigar smokers have quit cigarettes because the long list of things that are added to those, none can be good. I did read something that was kind of interesting about uh, nicotine. Uh, it's been used for uh, performance enhancing and it affects cognition, alertness, and focus. I don't know if that's what does it for me, but when I'm smoking a cigar, I get pretty thoughtful, introspective. Um, you know, part of that might be because I'm just in the, the environment that I'm in. Usually when I'm smoking, as I set aside the time and the place, and I don't want to be disturbed, don't want to have to be put it, put the cigar down for any long periods of time, you know, leave the house real quick for something or be just, just bothered. So I get kind of in a relaxing mode and I'm just, you know, sitting there for an hour, hour and a half, not thinking of a whole lot else. Not usually with anybody else. Um, maybe camping might be with my wife, just kicking back and talking, but mostly it's, it's uh, alone time, a lot of times, except at lounges. But um, so, does the nicotine help in that? Who knows, maybe. It doesn't seem to keep me up at night. I usually smoke my cigars at night, and you know I'm usually done with them by nine or 10 o'clock at night. Doesn't give me insomnia, so if, if it's a stimulant, it doesn't really do that to me. Um, so once again, if you do have a problem with nicotine, and I'm sure half of you do, and the newer smokers um, have more of a problem, you gradually ease into it. And I only smoke two or three cigars a week, so it's not like I'm smoking a lot and I'm, I'm building up a tolerance quicker. I'm not. Once in a while, one will sneak up on me, like that uh, Corojo did, which it was worth it. And like I said, mostly it was not a big deal, but once again, have something cold and sweet that usually does. Some people will have sugar packs and they will just empty it straight under their tongue or on their tongue and, and it gets rid of it pretty quick. It's, it's not a feeling you want to have to just put up with as a side effect from smoking a cigar. You want to get rid of it as soon as you can. You know, if that means getting uh, only medium cigars, that's one way. I wouldn't recommend that way because I think medium full and full taste way better. Uh, you can go with smaller ones, that's fine too, as long as it's, they're put together well and the blend works well for that particular cigar. You can smoke it uh, not all the way down, kind of seems like a little bit of a waste of money. Uh, so there's lots of ways to go. Just thought I'd share that with you after uh, that fairly strong cigar. I recommend you trying it, see what you think. Because I've had people that have told me about strong cigars to them that were not to me and it's possible that this one may not be anything at all to you, although by all accounts and by Camacho's own website, it's at the peak of their intensity. So thanks for watching. This is Chris at the Sogi Palace with a little follow-up on this Camacho Corojo and talking about nicotine. If you have any thoughts or comments, send them my way. Appreciate it. And this one thing about tobacco and cigars and even nicotine that it's subjective. It affects people differently. People have uh, different flavor profiles and different tolerances and all that. That's what makes it so cool and that's why all of us who do videos and blogging have <clears throat> plenty of room to work with because we all have different experiences and opinions. So thanks again. I am Chris at Stogie Palace. I'll see you later.